Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, July 30th. A wet weather pattern is shaping up for the Mid-Atlantic region and much of the eastern third of the nation for the next several days. It looks like we could have another five to seven day period of several inches of rain in parts of the uh, eastern third of the nation. Again, a deep flow of tropical air will develop riding up the eastern seaboard from the south to the north kind of sandwich between low pressure over the Midwest and high pressure over the Western Atlantic. The flow of air will again ride up from the tropical part of the Atlantic all the way into the Mid-Atlantic region in the Northeast U.S. There are some showers and thunderstorms around in parts of the Mid-Atlantic right now, especially across the southern part of the Del Marva Peninsula. That threat will not only uh, exist today, but it looks like the threat for showers and thunderstorms will continue Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, perhaps even into the upcoming weekend. Before we get to the local weather situation, let's take a quick look at the sea surface temperature anomalies around the world. A few uh, things I want to point out here and emphasize. First of all, we're still expecting the development of a weak to moderate El Nino by the latter part of the summer, the, uh, the fall of 2018 right in this region right here and you see sea surface temperatures have begun to rise a little bit relative to the last several weeks basically some uh, above normal readings now right along the equator region this is the equator right in here so right in that area there still remains some below normal conditions just to the south of the equator but we'll monitor this over the next uh, several weeks. Again, a weak to moderate El Nino is likely by the latter part of the summer and the fall in 2018. The Atlantic Ocean is really kind of the untold story here. Pretty amazing, dramatic cool down in the Atlantic Ocean. You see right here, first of all, we have Greenland right here. This uh, uh, large uh, island, the world's largest island, is surrounded by much colder than normal waters and that's been rather persistent uh, in this part of the northern Atlantic over the last several weeks. Also, right here, the west coast of Africa, this batch of colder than normal waters has been rather consistent and an inhibitor to Atlantic Basin tropical activity. So the combination right here, and again, the, the northern half of the Atlantic Ocean, quite impressive indeed. This is likely contributing to an above normal snowpack on Greenland right now and that certainly can play a role in the upcoming winter season in the northeastern part of the nation. Temperatures have been relatively normal in the Arctic region. We're posting about that today partly as a result of these colder than normal waters. But again, a big turnaround in temperatures. We'll see if this is sustained. We've been talking for a, a quite a while around here about the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation, how it shifted in the middle 1990s to a warm phase. It has been relatively warm uh, since the middle 1990s. It's about time that it flips back to a colder phase. Now, whether this is a false start or the real deal remains to be seen. We'll, of course, monitor this over the next several weeks and months to come, but again, Lots of colder than normal water in the northern half of the Atlantic Ocean. Quite an important thing for uh, not only the tropical season here in the Atlantic Basin, but also could have a big role in the upcoming winter season. Well, let's take a look at the latest radar loop here. And again, there are some uh, numerous showers and embedded rumbles of thunder across the uh, southeastern part of the, uh, the southern part of the Delmarva Peninsula. And this rain is coming down hard. For the most part, this batch of showers and thunderstorms stays just to the southeast of D.C., which is right in this region right here, and it should not impact the uh, southeastern part of Pennsylvania either. It continues to move, move off to the east to northeast. Certainly, there can be some shower or thunderstorm activity up across D.C. later on today and by the end of the day in the southeastern part of Pennsylvania, but for now, this remains of the southern half of the Delmarva Peninsula, will affect the extreme southern part of New Jersey, but then continue off to the east-northeast. But the bottom line here is moisture has already gathered along the mid-Atlantic coastline, and again, moisture will flow northward all week long from the south to the north, from the tropical Atlantic into the mid-Atlantic and the northeast U.S. Also some showers out here across the central part of Pennsylvania. We'll monitor those, but again, Chances of showers and thunderstorms certainly increase today 
and will remain quite high tonight, tomorrow, all the way through the rest of the week. Well, I really hate to show a map like this because it looks awfully familiar. We saw a map like this a week ago. This is the seven-day forecast map by NOAA of uh, total rainfall amounts over the next week. And again, just like a week ago, the eastern third of the nation is in store for up to several inches of rain right here in the I-95 Carter region, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. In the purple, that's anywhere from uh, maybe two to three inches of rain over the next several days. Certainly there can be downpours. I'm probably right now the, the best chance of downpours will come Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, but certainly can have some showers and thunderstorms at any time from later today through tonight through the rest of the work week. But again, a very wet pattern shaping up for the eastern third of the nation. We'll see in a moment here, basically, flow of air right along the eastern seaboard from the south to the north brings in tropical moisture all the way up the east coast. Well, let's first take a look at last night's GFS model run for the 500 millibar height anomalies. Another trough, an unusually deep trough for this time of the year, setting up over the Midwest and that will slowly move to the south and east over the next couple of days. Here we are now by tomorrow morning. Look at this setup here. Deep upper level trough right over the Midwest. Strong ridging over the western part of the Atlantic. Not unusual at all for this time of the year. This is the typical Bermuda high type of pattern. Bermuda shown on this particular map right here, right in this area right here. A Bermuda high to the east. Unusual deep upper level trough to the west and right along the Atlantic seaboard sandwich in between winds blow clockwise around highs counterclockwise around lows that combination will produce a south to north flow of tropical air all week long resulting in some downpours for the eastern third of the nation let's keep moving forward here now by Wednesday piece of this kind of pulls out to the north and east and may make kind of its closest approach here uh, on what later Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, and that could result in some downpours on Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, and certainly the same pattern just holds in force here. We are now by Friday morning. Look at this upper level trough still situated over the uh, southeastern part of the nation, and high pressure ridging off to the east. That flow of air continues here at the end of the week and again a very wet weather pattern shaping up for the eastern third of the nation for the next five to seven days or so. Well let's now walk through the surface forecast maps from last night's 6E GFS model run. These maps by the way from tropicaltidbits.com. Here we are a lot of moisture already over the southern half of the mid-Atlantic region up and down the uh, southeastern coastline. Let's move forward here. This area of heavier rain is reflected on the radar with that heavy rain right now over the uh, Delmarva Peninsula. Again, it holds mainly to just to the south and east of D.C. and holds to the south and east of Philadelphia as well. Southern New Jersey, extreme southern New Jersey, can get in on some of the heavier rainfall over the next couple of hours. But then uh, by this evening, the chances of scattered showers and thunderstorms will extend up across the I-95 corridor. And here we are now by Tuesday afternoon Tuesday evening up and down the Atlantic seaboard by the way let's take a look here at the surface we have low pressure over here and high pressure in this region right here and that flow of air right along the Atlantic seaboard basically from the tropical Atlantic to the mid-Atlantic just like we saw last week and that will contrib contribute to this very wet weather pattern going forward through this week and here we are now by Wednesday afternoon. Again, possibility of some downpours Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening as that upper level feature sends out a little piece of energy uh, into the mid-Atlantic region later Wednesday, Wednesday night. So watch for some downpours at that particular time. And we just go through the week here. This is Thursday afternoon. Still green on the screen here showing up all the way through the eastern third of the nation and this threat of showers and thunderstorms continues right through the day on Friday. Still much the same kind of a pattern here with high pressure over the western Atlantic, a flow of air from south to north Atlantic, uh, along the Atlantic 
uh, seaboard here. So again, a wet weather pattern. Obviously, grounds are well saturated due to the recent heavy rainfall. So watch out for the potential flash flooding as we go through the week. Stay tuned to PerspectiveWeather.com for updates as we progress through another very wet week here in the eastern third of the nation. That's it for now. For Perspective Weather, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.